Flirty text messages, more butt dials, and a discarded phone. It was all part of a full day of testimony in the Karen Reed murder trial. Reed is the Mansfield woman accused of running down her Boston police officer boyfriend with her SUV. Investigative reporter Ted Daniel was in the courtroom today. He takes us through the questioning of a key player in this case, Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins is an ATF agent who is at 34 Fairview Road. The defense has long suggested that he and others are part of a cover up. During his testimony, we learned that he exchanged flirtatious text messages with Karen Reed, but they stopped communicating immediately after John O'Keefe's body was found. I'm not proud of these text messages. It, it is what it is. I take responsibility for them. But you know, John was a friend. Brian Higgins responds to questions about his text with Karen Reed in the weeks leading up to John O'Keefe's death. Defendant responded, you're hot. I responded, failing is mutual. And a kiss outside O'Keefe's home. And as we were walking out, the defendant planted a kiss on me, not like a friend. The defense suggests Higgins felt snubbed by Reed. They were both at the Waterfall Bar in Canton hours before O'Keefe's death. So she basically ignored you the entire evening. That's not how I interpret it, no. I didn't ask you how you interpreted it. I asked you what she did. Did she ignore you or did she pay attention to you? Objection. Higgins later went to 34 Fairview Road. He testified he didn't see O'Keefe's body on the front lawn when he left sometime before 1 a.m. Alan Jackson asked him why he went straight to the Canton Police Station in a blizzard. As a courtesy, I was parking vehicles there. The reason for heading back there was to move those vehicles because if I didn't do it then, I would have had to get up early and do it. Higgins returned to his then West Roxbury home. His phone records show a call from and to Brian Albert. And that was five minutes before 2.27 a.m. when there was a Google search for how long to die in the cold, correct? Jackson. Sustained. Jackson accused Higgins of later destroying his phone. Did you pull the SIM card out of your phone, Mr. Higgins? If I took it out, that it was either cut or broken. It's not just possible. So that and that would have been after the date the order was already denied. Higgins' lawyer was brought into court briefly when Alan Jackson accused Higgins of breaking the law. The only day the trial will be taking place next week is Tuesday. It's likely Higgins will be back on the stand. Reporting in Dedham, I'm Ted Daniel for your local station, Boston 25 News.